Hi crafty friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are transforming ordinary crafts into mind-blowing <laughs> I got some fun and inspiring projects you can do solo or with your family. Wait to the end for my five tips. Let's make something amazing together. So, when you carve out time for a DIY project, I want you to make a conscious decision to be present in that craft. It's about exploring different ideas and bringing your projects to life. It's important to step away from your routine, do something different, fully emerge in the joy of your activity. Woo! Involving your children adds another layer of value to your DIY project. Look for a way to teach them new skills, ignite their imagination, and encourage their problem-solving abilities. Kids are naturally curious and creative, and DIY projects are the perfect outlet to enhance their abilities in life. Working by yourself is um, good to find inner peace and quietness because you're focusing on the one task you're doing, kind of meditation practice for me at least. And doing DIY projects with your family can definitely foster deeper connections with your family members. As you work side by side, you share deeper conversation, laughter and it's just nice being physically present and actually also mindfully present. Seasonal crafts can become cherished family traditions you can revisit every year and watch your family grow. Creating a long-lasting bond between you and your family members and a sense of accomplishment. Aha! Each season offers a unique palette of colors, textures and an inspiration for your craft projects. In autumn you can gather um, vibrant leaves, pine cones, branches for your seasonal crafts. These make beautiful decor. Winter can bring pine branches, homemade snowflakes and holly. Spring and summer are perfect for flowers, seashells and greenery. To make this a sustainable habit, choose family projects that are within your skills and abilities. Whether it's a simple craft or a gardening project, it could also be a more ambitious um, home improvement project. Just to find an activity that everybody can enjoy and contribute to. If you're new to the idea or you're not really sure what to do, start with um, small projects. And then you can level up as your confidence and skills grow. Two thousand years later. From handprint art to DIY bird feeders, there's something here for everyone. So grab your glue guns, round up your little helpers, and let's get crafting. Let's get started. This first craft is a personal favorite of mine, a handprint wall art. It's a beautiful way to capture those tiny handprints that seem to grow bigger every day. You just grab some non-toxic paint and some thick paper or canvas. Let those little ones dip their hands in the paint and make their mark. The beauty of this craft is in its imperfection. Once the paint is dry, you can frame those precious prints or arrange them into a heart shape or a family tree on a larger canvas. Now, let's head outside for some recycling and bird watching fun with our next project. A charming DIY bird feeder made from empty milk cartons. It's a great way to teach your kids about repurposing and giving back to nature. Start by rinsing out your milk cartons and then let those creative juices flow. You can paint them in bright colors or let the kids decorate them with markers. Once they're dry, cut out a small opening near the base of the carton for the bird seed. Thread a piece of twine through the top to create a hanger, fill it with bird seed, and hang it from a tree branch. You know, I love anything that tells a story. And our next craft does just that. It's a memory jar 
a special place to store all those wonderful family moments, big and small. Think of it as a treasure chest filled with little notes that bring a smile to your face. To make your own memory jar, find a jar you love. It could be a mason jar, a vintage cookie jar, anything goes. Throughout the year, whenever something special happens, a funny joke, a family outing, a proud moment, write it down on a slip of paper and drop it in the jar. New Year's Eve will become even more special as you gather together and read through the memories you've collected throughout the year. Do you have a drawer full of old t-shirts that hold sentimental value but don't quite fit anymore? Don't throw them out. We're giving those well-loved tees a second life by transforming them into stylish tote bags. Grab a t-shirt and lay it flat. Cut off the sleeves and then cut around the neckline to create the handles of your tote bag. Turn the t-shirt inside out and sew across the bottom edge to create the base of the bag. Turn it right side out and voila! You have a brand new tote bag perfect for carrying groceries, library books or all those craft supplies. For our last craft, we're heading outdoors for a little creativity inspired by nature. Next time you're on a family walk, have the kids collect some smooth stones. Now it's time to let your imaginations run wild. You can paint bright patterns, cute animals, inspiring words, or even turn them into adorable ladybugs like we did. Just grab some acrylic paints, a few paint brushes, and let those little Picassos work their magic. These painted stones make sweet paperweights, adorable garden decorations, or thoughtful little gifts for friends and family. Plus, it's a fun way to connect with nature and create lasting memories with your loved ones. I hope these craft ideas have inspired you to create some beautiful memories with your family. Remember, the most important thing is to have fun. Let those creative juices flow and don't be afraid to get a little messy. Crafting together is more than just making things. It's about spending quality time with your loved ones, making memories and creating something you're proud of. So gather your materials, put on some good music and get those creative gears turning. Thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like and comment your favorite um, craft idea in the comments below. And let's stay crafty.